Welcome to the Official Leader Dream Big YouTube channel. We hope that through this platform, we'll be able to inspire young women to pursue higher education and believe they can achieve anything through hard work and determination. Hello, and welcome to the College Board Account Creation Process Walkthrough with Leaders Dream Big. My name is Victoria Brown, and I'm the current Washtenaw International High School, or YHI, Chapter Co-President for Leaders Dream Big. I will be leading you through this presentation today. So first off, what or who is the College Board and what do they do? The College Board is a not-for-profit organization that connects students with college resources and opportunities in high school. This organization also designs and conducts the Advanced Placement or AP program. We will also have a video comparing the Advanced Placement and International Baccalaureate programs that will be on our channel that you can check out. They are also responsible for the Scholastic Assessment Test, or SAT, the Pre-Scholastic Assessment Test, or PSAT, for 8th through 10th graders, the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, or NMSQT, the College Level Examination Process, or CLEP, and Big Future. According to the College Board website, with the College Board account, you can access your SAT and AP scores online and send them to colleges. You can also register for the SAT and CLEP exams and print your SAT admission ticket or CLEP registration ticket. Additionally, an account lets you manage your personal college list, save your scholarship searches, compare costs at colleges that interest you, and more. So we will now walk you through the process of creating your own College Board account so that you may access the resources just mentioned in the previous slide. A website URL is provided below the QR code and they will both bring you to the College Board website to complete the form and create an account. We suggest that students under the age of 13 create an account with a parent as we think the resources provided on the website will still help you in preparation for high school and eventually university. So the first part of the form asks for some general information about you. So in the corresponding boxes within the form, please respond with your first and last name. You may provide your middle initial if you have a common name or you so desire to. Your gender, date of birth, email address, the anticipated month and year of your high school graduation, your zip or postal code, and the school you attend. Feel free to pause the video to fill out this information or any other section of information later, and we will return with the username and password creation section of the form. So to create your login information, write your own unique username and password, and choose a security question that you know you will remember the correct answer to if you are locked out, and one that is not too easy that anyone who has a little information about you can answer and get into your account. Moving on, please fill out your personal information, including your address, keeping in mind that address line one is the standard street address information. And address line two is only for those who have a specific apartment, suite, et cetera number. So not everyone will need to use address two. After street address and such, include your city, your state, and your cell phone number if you have one and would like to receive messages from the College Board with additional resources. Lastly, you have the option of additional monthly alerts and newsletters by email. And you can also include your parent or guardian's first and last name, as well as their email address so that they may also receive resources. To complete the form, you will need to agree to the terms and conditions for the creation of your account. So we will now discuss what resources the College Board website provides access to. So through the College Board website, you can access SAT details and information. These include things such as dates and deadlines for registration or tests, the ability to register, test taking tips, practice tests, 
your previous scores if you have already taken the PSAT or the SAT, information about the subject tests, and more. The AP resources for student of the Advanced Placement Program include a course index, a list of their courses, student resources, and calendar or exam dates for AP exams. The available college resources include the College Search and Save function, the ability to compare colleges, college basics, personalized selection and searches for colleges that fit you, financial aid, tips, and resources, application basics, and much more. Lastly, their career resources available are major and career search. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more resources on college and career, leadership, education, interview with leaders, and more. Also, follow our other social media pages for updates and upcoming events. Check out our website for some more ways you can get involved in this project and learn some more about who we are and what we do.